Why are you instructed to deck the halls with boughs of holly? It's winter time in England and all the trees have lost their leaves. This is the only green thing in town. The plants that they see here, the display of them, the variety of them is difficult to find any place else. My name is Wayne DeLossi. I'm Professor Emeritus. The courses I taught were mineralogy, and crystallography. I thought, if I keep doing what I'm doing, at the end, that's essentially all I would have done. So after I retired, I started working very hard on botany. There are over 550 different species of plants that I have identified on campus. It was a good decision. This is Bauhinia cross Blakeyana, Hong Kong orchid tree. Here is our fig tree. This is Ficus benjamina. It's from Asia. Oh my gosh, look at all that pile of figs. Deodar cedar comes from the Himalaya, from India. And in India, it's considered a sacred tree. Sitting underneath the deodar cedar is supposed to be spiritually and physically healing. I love the campus. I love walking around it. I have found places on campus that I didn't even know existed. And they have plants in these places. And to discover a new one, to say, oh, look at that. I didn't even know that was here. It's just been a great source of joy for me. The database started out as my personal notes of what was on campus. By clicking on the icon, you can call up the campus map and show you Royce Hall and show you precisely where that plant is. This is Texas Baccata, and the common name of it is the English U. So when Robin Hood was in Sherwood Forest, he was shooting a bow made out of U. I'm oftentimes concerned that it is not just entertainment. I don't want it just simply to be entertainment. I want them to learn something because I find it so interesting and there's so much to, to learn. Bye-bye. <laughs>